In Altium 365, component templates are used to help streamline the creation of managed components by allowing you to define a set of parameters to be used when creating new components. This also has the added benefit of imposing consistency in a centralized library. Through the component template, you can control which parameters are mandatory, which are visible, and even set up default values. Component templates can be accessed in the Explorer panel. If we open the Explorer panel and we go to Manage Content, Templates, Component Templates, we can see there's a number of templates that get created when you activate your 365 workspace. If we select Add Template, the Create New Item dialog opens where we can give our new template a name and a description. Now if we hit OK, assuming we have our Open for Editing after creation checked, this will go ahead and create the item and simultaneously open it in the Component Template Editor. So if we select OK. Our component template will be open in the editor and we can close the Explorer panel so we can see the newly created template. Here we can select the lifecycle definition and the, the revision naming scheme. Um, both of these component options are defined in the server's properties of the data management preferences. So if we go up here to System Preferences, in Data Management Servers, if we click on the Properties, we can see we can access Life Cycles and Naming Schemes. If we open Life Cycles, we'll see a number of Life Cycles that are predefined, again, in the 365 workspace when you activate it. Now, along with these, we can also create new ones um, or we can modify the properties of the existing ones. Same thing goes for naming schemes. A number of the predefined ones are here, uh, of which we can add to or modify the existing ones. Component naming is the field used to define a default naming scheme for a component created using the template. You can see we have a prefix here, and then we have some digits uh, encompassed within curly brackets. This is a replaceable entity that the system uses to ensure a unique ID for all of the components in the server. The default folder allows us to select um, the folder that'll, that the component will go into when it's created using the template. In this case, we're going to select Test Folder. Allow Override can be used to control whether that property can be changed by the user when defining a component in the Component Editor. We'll leave these unchecked for now. There are five default system parameters, component type, PCB lib, SCH lib, name, and description. Choosing the component type defines what type of component will be created with this template. If we click on the ellipses, this will access the component types that are currently defined. Also, if we want to modify or add any, we can click on Preferences, which will open up the component types in the data management. Here we can modify these, or if we want, we can add a new type. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just select uh, something simple. We'll use a resistor. PCB lib and SCH lib allow us to define the symbol and footprint. For example, for this one, we'll go ahead and 
in our models. We'll select footprints and I'll choose this 0402 resistor. For schematic symbol, we'll do the same, except this time we'll select symbols and we'll go down to um, a two pin resistor symbol. And we'll use that one for a default symbol. Name and description allow you to define the name and description for the component that's going to be created respectively. So for name, we can just give it something simple like res10k. And for a description, we'll give it something a little more uh, defining for that. Now beside the name, the type, and the default value, we have some other options here. Visible enables this, or you enable this option to have the corresponding show option for the parameter enabled when editing in the component editor in the batch component editing mode. This property has no effect when defining a component using the single component editing mode. Read only option is to make the parameter read only, obviously, when editing a component that references the template the value for that parameter will be made non-editable. Lastly required, you enable this option to make the parameter uh, a required parameter, otherwise releasing the component won't be possible. Aside from the system parameters, we can also add some user parameters. Now in this case, because it's a resistor, the name I'm going to give to this parameter is going to be value. And besides text, we can also give it, uh, make the type unit aware. So in the case of a resistor, the value are going to be in ohms. And I can also give it a default value here. In this case, we'll say 10K. Once we have all of our properties defined in our component template, the last thing we need to do is to release it to the server. That's simply done by going to the projects panel and clicking on save to server. Once we do that, we can give it a release note and select OK. Now, if we go back into Explorer, in our component templates, we can now see our newly created template here. And that is an overview of component templates in Altium 365. For more information on component templates, go to altium.com slash documentation.